Hello folks, we're at the Ontario Collectors Con. Thank you. I got the Indo Nerd here with me. We're gonna get you on a live stream someday. There we go. We got Rob from 3D Vintage Toys. We've had you on a live stream. Get you on some more. Can Foundation in the house. Let's go hunting for some vintage toys. And Eric is back. Join us for another virtual walkthrough. How's it going, Eric? Great. Hello. How are you doing? Excellent. So something like this happening on the Isle of Man every weekend, probably? Uh, no. We have a car boot sales, which are <laughs> um, medium medium uh, kind of events in the field where people roll their cars up. But I would say you're not going to find anything half as fascinating. Oh, I just saw there's uh, huh? I just saw some gem dolls. I wish I had panned up to get them. Ooh. Not that I collect gem, but... Wow, there's quite a few gem collectors out there. G.I. Joe was there. So was this mainly toys or was it um, yeah. or was it a mix? It was mainly toys. M mostly toys, yeah. There's oh. a big room of comics too. The pizza launcher. Yeah, nice. Well, I'm looking pizza at that shooter. Power Master Prime too. That looks in good condition. The shooter did not actually shoot pizza, so I didn't uh, see the point in picking it up. There's a Vintage Falcon. Very weathered I I, Vintage Falcon. I think I love about Vintage Falcons is the more old and crappy they look, the more <laughs> right they look yeah don't ever dust an old falcon no now this is really interesting it's an awa wrestling ring and uh some awa wrestlers remco wrestlers oh, there's uh there's, remco there's abisco and nick bockwinkle not enough attention given to one of the all-time greats the man who invented the phrase ham and agar nick bockwinkle but this ring is made of wood and canvas wow not plastic so it has a very authentic look to is that what kind of era is that toy from? It looks it looks like it might be eighties, seventies. Is it eighties? Oh yeah, wow, yeah, it was that's 80s. surprising. Remco did some great stuff back then. They did Chris yeah. Star as well. Chris Star, that oh man, that was one of my favorite toys. Beautiful. Yeah, there's yeah. some uh, re uh, recarded Ring of Honor huh. figures there for the wrestling fans. Adam Cole Bay Bay and one of the Briscoes. There's the other <laughs> Briscoe. Love the expression. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Prisco and uh, I picked this one up weasel suit Bobby Heenan. So Bobby oh, uh, wrestled a series of matches where he had a weasel suit, and in order to beat your opponent, you had to stuff him in a weasel suit, and he always lost. But uh, weasel suit Bobby Disco Inferno, yeah, lots of wrestling stuff in this uh yeah. town. Mississauga is a big wrestling town, and there's Rob for 3D Vintage Toys who came along for the trip and he got himself the Winged Eagle World Heavyweight Championship. Yeah, pretty oh, spelt. Cool. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful replica. I'll we'll be nice. facing him in a salad steel cage soon to challenge. And speaking of greatest of all time <laughs> and the best cookies in the world, so <laughs> they were they were really good. I wouldn't call them the best. I'd say my wife's was the best, but I'm sure the the guy whose wife made these would say my wife's were second best and his wife's nice. were the best. I like that. That's sort of like a cross market appeal kind of thing. It's a little personal touch. Uh -huh. And some art. Nice. Very, very nice stuff. I like that there's artists actually working, making yeah. art there. Ninja Turtle. That's a great Ninja Turtle. That looks awesome. Is that Raph, right? I couldn't tell. Uh, yeah. Nightcrawler. I think like Spawn. Angel Spawn. There's one coming up I think you're going to like. Uh, it's a happy ah. tree painting Bob Ross. <laughs> That's great. And Groot painting Bob Ross. That's perfect. <laughs> that is a great one. <laughs> Boba Fett. Getting kind of cool. the Sarlacc. Escaping the Sarlacc, yeah. That, um, that uh, Grievous ship, um, that is a very beautiful looking uh, ship. The one that I always wish I would have bought. That's a cool mm -hmm. one. That's the uh, the Dory. Is that the one twenty three version? One six, oh, uh, fifth, one fifteenth or sixteenth by Diamond yeah, Select with like it's definitely yeah, it's definitely bigger than the ones I've got. I've got one that's like a one twenty four scale. It's not. It's the Back to the Future two version. Yeah, uh, one fifteenth cool or sixteenth kind of is usually the scale you need if you want to stick a Joe or a mm -hmm. Kenner style five POA figure in it. Yeah. Care Bears, something for everyone. You know, there's something mm -hmm. for the boys, the girls, and everyone in between. I'm kind of glad those Care Bears have kind of not disintegrated into dust or whatever. You still see some of them around. And, yeah. you know, I, I think enough of them are in pretty good condition, too, that they're not all, you know, dusty and covered with drool, you know? Mm hmm. More about, oh, I don't know. There what, there's so many Joes. There's a. Oh, 
Oh, that Voltron. Panache place, Voltron. Oh my god, I would have fully bought that. Still looking for a decent one. Um, yeah, it looks like a turnbuckle. Some wrestling gear here. That's a couple cool. Of signed boots. That's a or cool a... collectible kind of thing right there. That turnbuckle cover. Yeah, demolition axe, I believe, signed this boot, and one of the powers of pain members. And uh, this is a, an obscure one. The Berserker <laughs> signed the white boot. Yukon uh... John Nord. Nice little pictures. There's Ken Patera. <laughs> the world famous Ken Patera. And almost as cool, the Fawns. Ah, oh, the Fawns. And the coolest there is, was, and ever will be, Bret Hart. Great show, oh, Lou Ferrigno. Nice, uh, Lou Ferrigno texture. Yeah. <laughs> that, that <laughs> schlubby X-Wing pilot from yeah. Mandalorian. And there's the oh, fridge. Oh, fridge. So I was telling you, this is the extra yeah. fridge I picked up. Because I thought, you know, I've got a couple of playsets that could use a fridge. Ah. So here's the, the bunks in the flag. Could use a fridge. And uh, G.I. Joe <laughs> HQ could use a fridge. There's something yeah. about that fridge toy, too, that would have been, that's so <laughs> different and so odd. You know? Ghostbusters Firehouse could use a oh, fridge, definitely. It. And, of course, <laughs> the turtle sewer could use a fridge. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's much pizza left over for the fridge. That's yeah, he's great. just a fun... Uh, he's just fun, you know? He, yeah. he doesn't have any of the... the old Genesis arcade-style controller, but... There's a lot of the Joes are kind of intense and very military, and the fridge is just pure fun. BJ and the Bear. Powers figures. Oh, the BJ and the Bear. Yeah. Boy, that's this is one cool. of my favorite dealers. His name's Peter, and his stuff is always absolutely top notch. Yeah. He doesn't sell stuff with like, oh, the crotch is broken when you get home or broken thumb. He actually looks over his stuff, and that's uh, good. he he just sells ah. the top of. Them. Now this thing I had never. I've never seen this thing before. It's a real Ghostbusters like sewer ghost sweeper. Huh. Didn't know yeah, it existed. Yeah. He, 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 uh, you know, tried it out for him. I was like, well, I, that's just goofy enough to have. It's like a street sweeper. Yeah. I'd that's never exactly seen that either. Yeah. Nice collection yeah. of Joe's. Looks like a good mix of uh, eras, too. Nice. Mask was there. Was oh, a that, uh, the switchblade. I wanted that really bad when I was a kid. I had, the, uh, the... Yeah, I had the Matt Tracker and the, um, uh, what was this Camaro called? I can't remember. Thunderhawk. Thunderhawk, thank you. Um, I had that when I was a kid. I had that and I had the um, the truck with Hondo, I think, right? Was it? It, would, it was the, the green truck that basically... Oh, Firecracker. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I had, those were the two I had. Mr. T-Punch Ball. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. With, with the kittens. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's great. Shout out of the Rancor box. You know, it does give me some hope, though, when I see these things and I'm seeing all the vintage Star Wars. Because, you know, I've, I've, it's kind of like my bucket list to get, you know, recollect all the vintage Star Wars stuff. And there's still enough of them to be found that I'm relatively competent or confident that I could uh, I could uh, complete that collection sometime. Yeah, wow, I don't think the, they're uh, reissuing them anymore, though. I don't think so. But, I mean, there's so many of them and you see them everywhere. Yeah. You know. Oh, that's uh, cool. That animated yeah. Batmobile. And check this out. This is really rare. Four hundred Canadian dollars for the first Ooh. Kenner Batmobile. Wow. Yeah, in a bat cave. Four hundred bucks for a Kenner Batmobile. That's incredible. Yeah. Lots of carded figures. Mm. Booker T with all the mm. belts. So I think another thing that the uh, world isn't isn't um, short of is. Thankfully, his vintage Motu figures, they're just <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, that belt wasn't quite as nice as Rob's yeah. replica. Oh. Some TV guides. Barney. Barney. <laughs> you don't see Mosquito very often. He's one of no. the rare vintage figures. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't yeah. the Mosquito <laughs> the one where it's got the, like, the little blood in him that, that'll pulsate if you push yeah. the button? And it's all dried up and all the other ones. Yeah, this is funny. It's a pair hey. of grouches. It's Oscar and Bane. I just thought it was funny that Bane is beside Oscar in the plush section. Two of the grouchiest people there. There's a visionary. You don't see them very often. Either. Oh, these are great. Oh, these are great. Yeah. And, and, it, it's, uh, and those are awesome. pretty much free from any copyright infringement. Mm. I mean, they're they're different enough that I don't think you could go after them. 
Uh, vintage pair of Hitman's shades. Red That's heart cool. sunglasses that uh, they used to sell at the wrestling shows. And the hot rod, Canada's own. Those were awesome. Those uh, those old was, was those the old LJ LJN ones? I couldn't. I didn't quite see Hasbro. Them long enough. Yeah. Ooh, wow! What was that thing? That was the Night Raven from the Rise of Cobra, proving that, that not, not everything about <laughs> Rise of Cobra is bad. This yeah. is a mixed bag right here. The card art is great. <laughs> the figure. Uh, where's that screaming sound effect I usually use for Jar Jar? <laughs> those are the commemorative ones, right? Is that what those? Yeah, are? the retro, the new yeah. retro. This is cute. It's an actual vintage uh, Barbie Corvette with a yeah. new NECA plush gizmo in it. Oh, I it's a newer gizmo. Yeah, I almost got that, but I just yeah. don't have the space for it. Is that a? Uh, I'm trying to see what that is in the box. Is it some sort? Of, oh, that's some sort of weird. Oh, it's Super got combination Ultron robot. Part. Star. Yeah. I want to say that I think I might have seen that somewhere before. Oh, is that a Logan's Run Farrah Fawcett? Is that what that Maybe. is? Maybe it is a Farrah Fawcett. Yeah, it is. Yeah, Farrah Fawcett. Oh, it looks like a looks like the Logan's Run outfit. Uh, Captain Power carded yeah. Colonel Stingray Johnson. That is a super rare figure. Escaped the factory, and you never see that figure even loose, let alone min on card. Well, the Pilot Chase is pretty rare too. Oh yeah, there look at go. that Panache place. I, oh yeah, I need to get one of those. I was, uh, I would have grabbed it if it was complete in a nice chrome. That's yeah. that's my criteria for getting a Panache place Voltron. I want at least the sword and nice mm -hmm. chrome. That would be one that I I might think about buying one that was a little cruddier um, if I if I knew I could you know because you can repaint chrome stuff and get it close not quite the same the chrome pen right uh, yeah the Maltop stuff yeah it just takes forever to cure and dry okay uh, Secret Wars they had some Planet of the Apes Treehouse oh that's awesome lots of lionos I think I've seen about six lionos so far. It's interesting that you see a lot of these common Motu figures in a bag or 10, 20 bucks. And then you see that twistoid guy for over a hundred. Like, wow. Yeah. I guess he's rare. It's a fright zone for 400. Wow, 400. Boxed. Look at that creepy box art. Wonderful. Those big. Uh, the old Alpha. Yeah. <laughs> Daredevil. Oh, that's pretty cool. That thing. Wow. And some stuff for the girls. Newer uh, My Little Pony things. Vintage Care Bears, Care Bear Cousin. My my boss is a, is a self-professed brony. And so oh, as yeah. a joke, I get him something My Little Pony every single Christmas. Hmm. There's a Wuzzle and some some ponies for the nice. pony fans and bronies. And they're like an astounding number of those My Little Ponies. Mm -hmm. um, I remember even back in the day, there were just, just like, people, like girls that collect them. They had so many of those things. Like Funko Pops, basically. Yeah, this uh, was a highlight oh. of the convention for me. This Star Wars section was immaculate, and they had uh, Star Wars music playing too, which really set mm -hmm. the mood. Just That's incredibly cool. well organized, carded figures, mm -hmm. loose and vehicles. Those are in really good shape. Yeah, comics too. Really, really nicely mm -hmm. organized. It's almost like just looking at someone's personal collection rather than a booth that had stuff for sale. Mm. Uh, Skiff card Lando bookmark. Yeah. <laughs> no no retro. That's funny. You know, it's funny because I saw that yak face and I did think I, I got a couple of those Stan Solo repo figures. I got the blue Snaggletooth and the and the uh, um, and the yak face because I figured those are the two that I'm. You'd have to spend a fortune again. It's yeah. like I don't care if they're. Don't care. Nothing wrong with that. It's plastic. Yeah. It's not. Precious gems. Yeah. Oh, I had that lunchbox. That was my lunchbox in like second grade. I grabbed a shot of it because I wondered if you had. <laughs> C3PO. Droid Factory. Huh. Was that uh, the belt that disintegrated? Yeah. No, was that? And that oh, Imperial transport. Troop transport. That's got to be going for more money now that they, they featured it fairly prominently on, uh, well, there's a on uh, Mandalorian. Yeah. Biker Scout Pistol. This is the belt I was talking about. That yeah. The foam disintegrated on everybody's. Droid Factory. Factory. I think we talked about it on one of the other videos. I loved that that toy when I was a kid. I loved it. It's been hours with that. Who would have ever <laughs> thought a, a carded skiff guard would go for hundreds of dollars someday? Hmm. Four Moon Toys. So 
If you want some top-notch Star Wars collectibles in the Toronto area, check out Four Moon Toys. They Plus. look like they have some uh, good stuff there. Yeah. Those bags. Yeah, I'm, really, I mean, I'm looking kind of quick at the price as we go by. Doesn't look horrible, frankly. No. Um, Most of the prices here were great, and then yeah. negotiable too. I mean, you could get some. I saw some great prices where someone was selling like, you know, something great for fifteen dollars, and I said, "Would you take twenty? Because <laughs> wow. they're just not asking enough. Yeah, as a joke. <laughs> Sometimes people didn't get the joke. Story of my life. Funko Pop. So someone played this song uh, wah, 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 at one uh, point, and everyone looked up, "What is that?" And I, I said, "Someone just bought a Funko Pop." <laughs> <laughs> This oh, Rambo uh, headquarters. Check out the price yeah. that this went on sale for ten ninety nine. It was wow. on sale clearance. Someone bought that back in the day for ten ninety nine. That's incredible. There's another Even one in of my adjusted favorite. dollars. That's only probably what twenty five bucks. Exactly. Maybe. Yeah. This is Retro Source. Oh. Uh, so strap these to your source. Uh, this is another one of my favorite local shops. They're in Hamilton and. Just like Peter, they are top notch. Their stuff is always very high quality. It's over the top figures. Yes. Yeah, so ah, little known fact. There's wow. uh, Cliff Clavin. Yeah, Cliff. <laughs> Major Durlin. Yeah, I need to when I, when I eventually make it to a toy store, toy show somewhere. I need to I need to get on some of these older vintage Star Wars figures. There's I, I just see these and I'm drooling in these videos. <laughs> oh, look at that. The, the the Conrad and girl action figures those are pretty cool those <laughs> large um the thunder cats i've never seen this before i didn't even know those exist they're pretty uh they're pretty spectacular they're more like statues yeah. oh darn them all <laughs> <laughs> charlton heston what are you afraid of doctor <laughs> incredible comic section whole giant room filled with like it had to be hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of comics i was just hoping the sprinklers wouldn't go off yeah there's a, a silent interlude yeah. 150 bucks for silent interlude good job wow that rag man uh, is going i have that comic that's going for uh, i hope larry hama has a couple hundred copies of that one yeah and uh and nice. that's the uh, show and closing out with <laughs> 3D Vintage Rob, and uh, I challenged him for the belt on the way home <laughs> in, a, in a solid <laughs> steel car. <laughs> so, yeah, that was the wow. Mississauga Toy Show. Well, there was some beautiful stuff there. Yeah, unfortunately, there weren't any, like, real, really big um, grails. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm told by the Indo Nerd, he saw an Eternia, which sold for a pretty penny and i don't know when it comes to the eternia set that thing is so fragile it's probably just as fragile as the defiant uh -huh. um i i it, i'd be a little you know concerned about even owning that thing you know setting it up breaking it playing around with it breaking it uh -huh. but uh, they had some decent stuff the big falcon it's always cool to see yeah totally well that eternia set i've seen a lot of videos on that and they were saying that the that the um the track sections are like notoriously right easy to bust and i guess it's to the point where people are making like repros like 3d printing repros of those and even if they have the original they're using the 3d printed repros so they don't break the original yeah yeah, yeah i say go for it man go for yeah. it if right. if uh repro is something that's not up your alley for like an entire figure or something then then at least uh you know it's nice to supplement missing parts or mm -hmm. broken parts you know defiant definitely definitely go yeah. uh, i'm going uh repro to try to fill some of the gaps on my defiant well but, uh, and i mean honestly that that's kind of the only way to do it sometimes i mean that you know you might not even find the part that you need for some of that stuff so it makes sense to me i think when i see some of those makers on like etsy and wherever um that are that are doing those repro parts for like hard to find and easily broken stuff i mean my opinion it's like yeah, yeah. i mean nobody's nobody's gonna mistake that for the real thing at least not in most cases and but it looks good and it makes it complete and why not you know yeah and if your eyes are going who cares it all looks the same from from a blurry distance yeah in my opinion uh, <laughs> yeah is that lion or he-man back on that shelf i don't know <laughs> whatever it's five bucks that's all that matters all right well thanks a lot for walking through this one with me again eric always a good time and thanks everyone out there for watching third mistake
there, Mustang.